know a man is known by the way he look. Right. When I look at you, I see certain things. Right. Right or wrong, I see what you present, right? Same with you and same with you. If me as a man, I'm standing here with a dress on, what would you think, bro? Be a hundred, what would you think? You, you gay. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's stop sugarcoating stuff with our brothers. That's the problem. When you sugarcoat stuff, you allow things to keep going on. We're not doing that no more. We not finna sit here and allow y'all to lead yourself down a road that's gonna that's gonna get you killed. Right. Believe it or not, the way we trust can get us killed. Right. And I'm gonna show you in the Bible. Keep reading that. Read it again. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19 and verse 20, 29. A man may be known by his look, and one that hath understanding by the continents. So one that hath understanding. By the way, when you look at him, you can tell, okay. Maybe these brothers never knew what fringes are for. If I see y'all brothers came up here today with fringes on, at least I know, okay, these brothers know they Israelites. So because you don't know that, now we got to take a step back and we got to deal with y'all, thus said the Lord. So that you can understand the basic things that shows God that you are a man. As a man, we got to be leaders in our community, First Timothy 3. We got to be leaders. Does everybody desire to have a, a, a wife and kids one day? Wife and kids. You got a wife, right? You got kids, but you're not married. You wasn't taught that marriage first before sex is, a, is the way you show yourself to be a man. I was taught to smash as many as I want, but that was wrong. Right. That's why we went into slavery. Right. That's why today we talking about baby mamas and baby daddies. That was never known amongst the Israelites. Right. But now when you look at our community, the white man and all the other nations left and say, look at these niggas. Now we on child support. Right. Now we on section eight. Right. Now we got divided households, which ultimately makes what? A division in a community. Right. Come on. The book of first Timothy, chapter three and verse one. Come on. This is a true saying. Three. If a man desires the office of a bishop, Three. he desires a good work. A good work as a leader is keeping God's commandments. Right. Meaning when I look at you, I be like, I want to be just like that brother. It's certain qualities in you that I want to make sure that because I don't got them, I'm going to stick myself closer to you. Right. If I consider you as a man of God, I'm going to be like, hey, bro, what's that scripture you read again? Because I want to make sure I start applying it. I want to remember what that Bible says. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we used to do, and we're trying to get back to that. Come on, read. A bishop, that must be blameless. Blameless. What do you mean to be blameless? What do you mean to be blameless, bro? Blameless? Yeah. No blame. Meaning nobody can say nothing bad about you. Right. By the way you dress. Right. By the way you speak. Right. The foods you eat, meaning they can't be like, oh, that brother eats shrimp, pork. Because God said you're not supposed to eat shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You can't eat catfish no more. Right. You ain't know that. Oh, I'm going to show you in the Bible, bro. If you're a real man, you got to get in this Bible and do what God tell you to do. Right. This ain't the Christian church, bro. Right. We we keep God's commandments. That's how we can call ourselves real men. Right. Before that, I can be honest. I wasn't. Right. Give me a uh, hold that. Give me a uh, uh, First Timothy. I mean, give me a uh, Titus three and three. Bring it out. Such a some of you, right? Yep. I'm gonna show you. How old are you right now? 24, 25, 22, 19. You got you got a chance, bro. Y'all young. Y'all y'all 20. I'm 33. Bro, y'all got a chance to stop making the same mistakes that our uncles made, that our grandparents made, that our fathers made. Y'all have a chance to cut it off and do it the right way. It's never too late to repent. You understand? Why you got breath in your lungs, you still got a chance. Come on. The book of Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Why six? For we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Read it again. Book of Titus chapter just read three. It, read it, just read it. So we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Ourselves, myself, I was foolish when it comes to reading this Bible. It was certain books in the Bible I couldn't even pronounce. Because why? I never read the Bible. I right. said I love God. I knew Psalms, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Revelations, Genesis, but I didn't read those books. So <laughs> So 
because what I'm trying to get in y'all is to understand is we got to start reading, applying before we can say we really love God. Because your baby mother, it's sad to say, but it should be your wife. You love something about her for you to lay down with her. Maybe the way she look, the way she dress, because those are the first things that catch our attention as men, right? You see something about it and you lay down with it. In order for us to say we truly men of the Lord and that we love the Lord, it's, we got to put action behind it. Read that again, Titus 3 and 3. Read. This will be the Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. And the reason why I read this scripture right here, because we, we was ignorant. When somebody say you ignorant, it's not disrespectful. It's you just didn't know. It says we lack certain knowledge. Because when we were in slavery, right? When we came from Africa to America and all the different places where we were scattered, they stopped teaching us the correct understanding of the Bible. Remember, have you ever seen Roots or 12 Years of Slave or any of those slave movies? When they came, you see Roots. That was Toby, right? When, when Toby got over to the Americas on a slave plantation, what did they do to Toby when they made an the example? What did they do to him? They beat the hell out of him and made him say his name was uh, Toby. Because he said his name was Kota Kente at first, right? They beat the hell out of him and, and, until he said Toby. That's the same thing they did with us spiritually. Spiritually, we no longer call ourselves Israelites today. We call ourselves African Americans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. What's up, man? All right? This is something that we no longer know. So now we are ignorant to the fact that we God's greatest people. That's why I'm reading this because we all was at that point. So I understand what you're going through. I understand what you're going through. Everybody got a, got a certain way they want to express themselves. Everybody got, everybody is right in their own mind. When you wake up in the morning, the way you dress and the way you go about your day-to-day -day life is right in your eyes. But when we read the Bible, that's where we got to start conforming to what God says. You understand that? Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, disobedient, whether it be to your father, your mother, your grandparents, or disobedient to God's laws. That's why this happened. I want y'all to get this in, in y'all head. This happened because we didn't listen to the stuff we're reading right now. That's right. Meaning, don't be like the other nations. Meaning, as Israelite men, you gotta wear fringes. You can't wear dresses. You can't, uh, I'm going to just put it out there. We can't paint fingernails. We can't get tattoos. Right. We can't do the stuff that everybody else do. That's right. Because God said we are different. If you're the greatest people that God ever created, don't you think that they should look like, look at you and want to be like you? Right. That's what y'all going to change our minds to. Right. That's what y'all going to change our appearance to. Right. When I'm at work, the clothes that I wear, they be like, hey, hey, can I get one of them? No, nah, it's custom made. I ain't got to go into details of why I wear these on my shirt. Just know I'm different. I dress different than the way y'all dress, right? Because my God told me to dress like that. When you start carrying yourself like that, people going to look at you different. They ain't going to call you a nigga. They going to look at you like, hey, it's so loud. You don't act like the rest of them. But you got to start. You get that respect from the nation by applying the commandments. Because God's commandments will humble them. Finish that out. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, Three. disobedient, huh? deceived. Deceived, man, and they lied to us. When we got off that slave ship, they lied to us. Serving diverse lust. Serving diverse lust. For example, today is the, is the Sabbath. Friday night to Saturday night is God's special holy day. So you know what y'all supposed to be doing today as men of the Lord? At the school? Learning the Bible, trying to get yourself right, asking questions, saying, you know, you what you got? Give me, hold that. Give me Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Even myself to this day, and I've been studying the Lord, Lord's word for about eight years now, right? I'm gonna show y'all the same thing that y'all gotta do. I do it every single day. The only difference is I know who I am, and I know where I stand with God. So I know where I measure up in the things that I have to work on so that I can make it to the kingdom. Because at the end of the day, everybody wants the kingdom. But you got to look at your life and say, am I really doing the things God require 
as a black Hispanic man, as an Israelite man, right. to get into the kingdom. Ooh. That's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourself. What does that mean, to examine yourself? To evaluate yourself. I have to evaluate, my, evaluate myself daily, weekly, monthly, sometimes yearly. And it's good to have people over you to evaluate you as well because you know your, your parents know you better than yourself, right? But you know yourself just as well, right? But let me see what the Bible says. Read that. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Examine yourself whether you're a man of God or not. Come on up here, my brother. Well, come on up here. Mira, read. Prove your own self. The Bible says, prove yourself. You got to open this Bible and say, okay, do I keep the Sabbath day? Do I even know what the Sabbath day is? If you don't know, that's the first thing you got to do. I need to learn the Sabbath day so I can get right. Because the Sabbath is, is the hospital. That's where you come to learn. That's where you come to clean yourself up. You understand? Read. Know ye not your own self? We all know what we deal with. You understand? You know if you got a smoking habit. You know if you got a homosexual spirit. You know if you got a thieving spirit. You know if you got a murderous spirit. Examine yourself. Come on. How that Jesus Christ is in you. Christ is supposed to be in all of us. Except what? We. Except we be reprobate. You void. Meaning the words in this Bible, they don't apply to you. You don't give a damn about the Bible. That's what a lot of us do in our daily walk. We walk as if we good, but we can get here by our bus at any time. We can go to sleep and not wake up. We ain't living according to this Bible. So I'm going to challenge y'all brothers. Y'all know y'all Israel today. Y'all need to come to the school. Y'all need to come learn who you are and how you got to walk to be a man of God. Y'all understand that? Don't get it twisted. This is not the Christian church. We trying to save your life. We want you to be the best version of yourself that you can be. You understand that, my brother? The best version that you can be. If God made us special, do you think you, you the greatest you can be right now? Do you think you the greatest version of yourself? Do you think you can do a little bit more? Do you think you can worship and serve the Lord more? So, uh, okay, I'm not happy in there, okay? Ahora, soy, soy explanando la important, importante de Jesucristo mandamientos, okay? Es muy importante a, haciendo Cristo sabre, Cristo leyes y mandamientos, okay? Espera un momento. All right, so it's very important what we teach it right now. But it means nothing. Give me a... Um, Zephaniah uh, 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 uh. 2.1 Zephaniah 2.1 It means nothing if I keep all this information to myself and don't have an opportunity to teach y'all or don't have an opportunity to help that's what we're trying to do right now we want to lend a hand this is what you call y'all ever heard the term community service this is what community service is about we risking our life to serve the community. That's, right. That's what real community service is. It ain't about pulling up with no damn hot food, breaking the Lord's Sabbath, giving away free food. Nation is men leading by example.